Just weeks before Election Day, the District 5 seat on the Osceola County School Board has been filled by the governor. As West Shoes Megan Mulatto tells us, it's one of the four candidates vying to fill that role permanently. Scott Ramsey is now representing District 5 on the Osceola County School Board after being appointed by Governor Ron DeSantis. But his time could be short on the board since he's one of four candidates running to fill the seat, including Brian Bennett, Paula Bronson, and Dylan Rensel. I think ideally the seat should have been filled earlier. School Board Vice Chair Terry Castillo says those in that district have been asking for a representative. Once a person has been appointed to that seat, once a person is um, in that chair, it is up to us to embrace them and make sure that they are doing the best job possible because there's thousands of people, thousands of students, thousands of taxpayers who need a, represent, a representative on that school board. The seat was vacated by Erica Booth, who resigned in 2023 to run for a spot in the Florida House. We reached out to Ramsey and the other candidates for comment. Ramsey responded saying, quote, I want to thank Governor Ron DeSantis for entrusting me with this important office. I'm committed to making sure every student in Osceola County has the best possible education they can get. Renzel says in part, ultimately, the people will get to decide who sits in that seat not the governor. This just makes it more important for people to look into the District 5 school board race and research the candidates and make a decision on who they think will be best for our students. Bennett adds it's disappointing the governor allowed the position to remain unfilled for nine months and then appointed a candidate approximately 20 days before the primary election. We do want to have a successful person in that seat no matter how long it's going to be, two weeks or beyond, we want this person to be successful because District 5 definitely deserves a good representative. Ramsey will have two school board meetings before voters can make their voices heard on August 20th. If none of the four get more than 50% of the vote, the top two will run off in November. In Osceola County, Megan Mulatto, WESH 2 News. We didn't ever hear back from Bronson about the Ramsey being appointed. We also reached out to the governor's office for comment on why this decision was made now. We have yet to hear back.